Thank you for checking out our paper, Sport-Related Anxiety, Current Insights. I don't think you're human if you don't get nervous. Sidney Crosby, a two-time Olympic gold medalist, a world and a junior world champion, a two-time National Hockey League Most Valuable Player, a three-time Stanley Cup champion, and a six-time National Hockey League All-Star, is certainly not the only athlete who reports experiencing nerves when performing in his sport. In fact, sports psychology researchers have somewhat unanimously agreed that competitive sport has the potential for high levels of stress and anxiety. We also know that practicing and employing a range of psychological strategies to combat potential negative emotional states, such as sport-related anxiety, has become an integral part of a competitive athlete's performance preparation. Traditionally, sport performance as a concept has been viewed as consisting of activities that relate to regular practice and competition of one sport. More recently, sport performance has extended to include activities that relate to sport injury prevention, rehabilitation, and the return to sport process. At first glance, one might view these domains as separate. However, it is one of the fundamental tenets of our paper that they should be viewed as interconnected. The purpose of our article is to present current insights into sport-related anxiety. So what is sport-related anxiety? In essence, it is an unpleasant psychophysiological response to a situation that causes stress. It is generally associated with the stress of participating in sport. For example, someone might feel butterflies in their stomach or notice sweaty palms before a big competition. Or someone might start worrying about missing a shot or show signs of apprehension before a pass under coach's watchful eye. As the examples demonstrate, sport-related anxiety can manifest itself both in competition and practice settings. Research has also highlighted that a number of personal and situational factors can act as antecedents of anxiety in practice and or competition. Examples of such factors include increased intensity of the activity performed, the athlete's personality, history and intensity of stressors, and the athlete's existing coping strategies, to name a few. Coincidentally, these same factors have also been found to be linked to sport injury occurrence, rehabilitation, and the return to sport process. Research has found that an individual's poor stress response to a stressful practice or competitive situation can influence their increased risk of sport injury, and that anxiety is one of the key personality factors that affect sport injury onset. In a similar way, the same factors will continue to influence the subsequent injury rehabilitation and, if not addressed appropriately, can affect physical and psychosocial rehabilitation outcomes and the return to sport participation. In essence, it is known that anxiety, as a personality variable, can influence performance during practice and competition. It can also influence sport injury occurrence, sport injury rehabilitation, and the return to sport process. So what can be done to alleviate sport-related anxiety? It is known that a number of psychosocial interventions can be beneficial to help athletes cope with stressful situations and anxiety. Depending on the individual athlete's needs, these could be interventions that aim to provide athletes an ability to manage their unrealistic or irrational cognitive appraisals, debilitative emotional responses, non-beneficial behaviors, and or physiological symptoms. Some of the most commonly used psychosocial interventions include goal setting, imagery, relaxation strategies, self-talk, and social support. Use of any psychosocial strategies should always be grounded in appropriate psychological theory and empirical evidence with an aim to assist the athlete in the development of self-regulatory skills. It is therefore important to ensure that all psychosocial interventions should always be designed and implemented by professionals trained to do so. Even though anxiety is a normal emotion experienced by many, if left unaddressed, it can lead to more serious psychological disorders. Given the significance anxiety can play in sport performance, early assessment of anxiety using valid and reliable anxiety assessment tools is recommended. To help detect athletes at risk, it would be advisable for appropriately trained clinicians to implement valid and reliable mental health screening tools into pre-participation medical examinations. Such baseline measures can help later to identify any possible significant changes and assist in early intervention and referral when necessary. 
It must be noted that recognizing early signs and symptoms of anxiety typically fall on those professionals who are interacting with athletes on a daily basis. Depending on the sports setting, such individuals may include athletic coaches, athletic trainers, physiotherapists, and strength and conditioning coaches. To appropriately recognize and treat sport-related anxiety, we as professionals must ensure that we provide each of the athletes we work with client-specific and practitioner-competent care and refer to other professionals when necessary. If left unaddressed, sport-related anxiety can continue to have spiraling effects on an athlete's performance. In short, sport-related anxiety can have a negative impact on sport performance during practice and competitions, lead to increased risk of injury occurrence, delay and obstruct injury rehabilitation in the return to sport process, and increase subsequent re-injury risk during post-rehabilitation practice and competitions. I hope you found our presentation interesting and useful. If you would like more information, please contact Dr. Arvin Imbaro via email. Thank you for watching.